with over 80 crores connected devices, India is quickly growing into one of the largest nations in the world. Indians currently use the internet and other forms of cyberspace and in the next few years, the number is expected to reach 120 crores. The internet presents opportunities and innovation, but it also poses risks to user safety, causes user harm, and facilitates cybercrime. Hello and welcome to MindSing. I am Swati from MindSing. Indian Computer Emergency Response Team is entrusted with the task of protecting and maintaining the cybersecurity in the country. It aims to fix any gaps and weaknesses in the nation's cybersecurity laws. MindSync has come up with a brief video on regulations of certain Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology governs the matters relating to Cyber Laws, Administration of the Information Technology Act, and other IT-related laws. The ministry's function is to promote information technology-based education and to strengthen India's role in global internet governance platforms. The Government of India appointed certain, in terms of the provisions of, Section 70B of the Information Technology Act, 2000. The Information Technology, Rules, 2013, regulates the manner of performing functions and duties, by certain. CERTAIN is an acronym for Indian Computer Emergency Response Team. CERTAIN is the National Incident Response Center for major computer security incidents in its constituency, that is, Indian cyber community. CERTAIN is an organization that is tasked with ensuring safety of the Internet in India. CERTAIN shall serve as the national agency for performing the following functions, raise security awareness among Indian cyber security, collection, analysis, and dissemination of information on cyber incidents, forecast, and alerts of cyber security incidents, emergency measures for handling cyber security incidents, coordination of cyber incident response activities, reporting of cyber incidents, issue guidelines, advisories, vulnerability notes, and white papers relating to information security practices, procedures, prevention, response, and such other functions relating to cyber security, as may be prescribed. Cyber security is the protection of electronic data and information, equipment, devices, computer, computer resources, communication device, and information stored therein, from unauthorized access, use, disclosure, disruption, modification, or destruction. To deal with the emerging cyber threat landscape, and to ensure safe usage of digital technologies by users, the legal, technical, organizational, and collaborative measures need to be taken. Cyber security incident is any real or suspected adverse event in relation to cyber security that violates an explicitly or implicitly applicable security policy, resulting in unauthorized access, denial of service, or disruption, unauthorized use of a computer resource for processing or storage of information, or changes in data, information without authorization. This certain direction shall apply to all the following entities. Service providers, such as telecom service providers, intermediaries, like social media platforms, e-commerce platforms, search engines, data centers, which store and process large quantities of private and public data, body corporate, as defined under the Information Technology Act, 2000, and include any company or partnership firm, virtual private server providers, Cloud service providers is a third-party company which offers cloud-based network services, for example, Google Cloud Platform. VPN service providers. Virtual asset service providers and virtual asset exchange providers such as cryptocurrency exchanges and ATM. 
Custodian Wallet Providers, an entity that provides services to safeguard private cryptographic keys on behalf of their customers to hold, store, and transfer virtual currencies. Some of the popular examples are Free Wallet, Binance, Blockchain.com, etc. Government organizations, individual citizens are not covered by these directions. The following compliances are outlined in the certain directions. All entities must synchronize their information and communication technology ICT systems clocks with the Network Time Protocol NTP, Server of National Informatics Center NIC. The conversion of Coordinated Universal Time UTC to local time is done at the host which receives the NTP sync from the NTP server. National Physical Laboratory NPL also provides UTC time as per global norms. In this regard, it has been clarified that the entities need not necessarily set their system clocks in Indian standard time. The entities can use other standard time sources as long as it does not deviate from the NTP. The entities should not be burdened with synchronizing with the government servers like NTP. Any service provider, intermediary, data center, body corporate, and government organization shall mandatorily report cyber incidents, as mentioned in the directions to certain, within six hours, of noticing such incidents, or being brought to notice, about such incidents. Companies shall designate a point of contact, to interface with certain. All communications from certain, seeking information, and providing directions for compliance, shall be sent to the said point of contact. Companies shall mandatorily enable logs of all their ICT systems, and maintain them securely for a rolling period of 180 days, and the same shall be maintained within the Indian jurisdiction. The same shall be provided to certain, while reporting the incidents, or when it is ordered, or directed by certain. The ICT logs include, firewall, IDS, IPS log, critical application log, etc. The critical application log can vary from company to company, and they need to decide what are the critical application logs for their business. Data centers, VPS providers, cloud service providers and VPN service providers, shall be required to register accurate information, which must be maintained by them, for a period of 5 years, or longer duration. Following are the accurate information which must be maintained by them, such as, validated names of subscribers hiring the services, period of hire including dates, IPs allotted, or being used by the members, email address, IP address, and time stamp used at the time of registration, or on boarding. Purpose for hiring services. Validated address, and contact numbers. Ownership pattern of the subscribers hiring services. The virtual asset service providers, virtual asset exchange providers, and custodian wallet providers like, cryptocurrency exchanges, and wallets, shall mandatorily maintain, all information obtained as part of, know your customer, KYC, and records of financial transactions, for a period of 5 years, so as to ensure cyber security, in the area, of payments and financial markets for citizens, while protecting their data, fundamental rights, and economic freedom, in view of the growth of virtual assets. With respect to transaction records, accurate information shall be maintained relating to IP addresses along with timestamps and time zones. Transaction ID, the public keys or equivalent identifiers. Addresses or accounts involved or equivalent identifiers. The nature and date of the transaction and the amount transferred. Types of cyber security incidents mandatorily to be reported by service providers, intermediaries, data centers, body corporate, and government organizations to certain are 
targeted scanning, or probing of critical networks, or systems. It refers to the action of gathering information regarding critical computing systems and networks, thus, impacting the confidentiality of the systems. Compromise of critical systems, or information, which may impact all core aspects of cybersecurity like confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Unauthorized access of IT systems, or data. Defacement of website, or intrusion into a website, and unauthorized changes such as, inserting malicious code, links to external websites etc. Malicious code attacks such as, spreading of virus, worm, trojan, bots, spyware, ransomware, or cryptominers. Attack on servers such as, database, mail, and domain name system, DNS, and also network devices such as, routers. Identity theft, spoofing, and phishing attacks. Denial of service, and distributed denial of service attacks. Attacks on critical infrastructure, supervisory control, and data acquisition, and operational technology systems, and wireless networks. Attacks on applications such as e-governance, e-commerce etc. Data breach. A data breach is a cyber incident where information is stolen or taken from a system without the knowledge or authorization of the system's owner. Stolen data may involve sensitive, proprietary or confidential information such as credit card numbers, customer data, trade secrets, or theft of intellectual property etc. It primarily results in loss of confidentiality of the information. Data leak. Data leak is the release of sensitive, confidential, or protected data to an untrusted environment. Data leaks can be due to accidental causes such as lack of proper safeguards to protect data, improper configuration, user error, backdoors, vulnerabilities etc. Attacks on Internet of Things devices and associated systems, networks, software, servers. Attacks or incident affecting digital payment systems. Attacks through malicious mobile apps. Fake mobile apps. Apps are designed to resemble legitimate apps but instead carry out malicious activities. It falls into two broad categories, counterfeits, fake apps that imitate a real one, and repackages, taking an existing app, and repackaging it, for example, for showing ads, or for inserting malicious code. It primarily target confidentiality of the data stored, and processed on the mobile. Unauthorized access to social media accounts, is when a malicious user gains, access to someone else's social media account, without their consent or knowledge. They use a variety of techniques including, phishing, keyloggers, man-in-the-middle attack, hijacking, etc. It may impact confidentiality, integrity as well as availability of the affected accounts. Attacks on malicious, or suspicious activities, affecting cloud computing systems, servers, software, or applications. Attacks or malicious or suspicious activities affecting systems, servers, networks, software, or applications related to big data, blockchain, virtual assets, virtual asset exchanges, custodian wallets, robotics, 3D, and 4D printing, additive manufacturing, drones. Any service provider, intermediaries, data centers, body corporate, or person, who fails to provide the information called for, or comply with the certain directions, shall be punishable with imprisonment for a term which may extend to one year, or with fine which may extend to one lakh rupees, or with both. Stay tuned with MindSync, to get all the latest updates, get in touch with us, for all your business compliances. Thank you.